A trailing stop loss can be an easy way how to limit your losses and let your profit run. What you can see in this clip is a position that goes in our favor and whenever it goes in our favor, the stop loss will adjust and follow our profits. In this video, I will show you how to code your own trailing stop loss robot in Python and you can also download the code that I am writing here on my website. Just follow the link in the descriptions below. To write the code, I am importing the Monetary 5 library as MT5. With MT5 initialized, I am connecting Python to Monetary 5 platform and I am also creating some configuration variables that will be important to run our strategy. In the config section, you just type your ticket and based on the ticket ID of your position, this position will be trailed. Then I need to find my position. So with MT5.PositionsGet, if I add the parameters ticket is equal to ticket, it will return the current open position of that ticket. Then uh, I want to get the data of my position. So in order to trail my position, I need to know the current price, I need to know the stop loss data. So for that reason, I am assigning this data to variable symbol, or type price current and stop loss. Uh, these variables are stored in our position object. And symbol, for example, is position.symbol, or type is position.type, price current is position.current, and the stop loss of the position is position.stop loss. I'm also printing out these values so I can check for the correctness of my code. And it seems that it is working. So now he can see in my Metro Trail 5 platform that I have an open position and I received data for that position. Next, what we have to do is we have to calculate the distance of the current price or stop loss. That means is what it means is when price is too far from stop loss, it means that we are in profit and we want to trail that position. And to trail, we've defined two variables. One is called max distance stop loss. This uh, is a value that is setting the limit for the maximum distance. So for example, let's say we have a position that is five pips in profit and your position is five pips below the entry price. That means that the distance between your current price and the stop loss is 10 pips. And if we set the max this stop loss to 10 pips, it means that after 10 pips, your stop loss should trail. Another variable that we have is trail amount. So if we exceed the max this stop loss, trail amount will update the stop loss by that amount. So right now I have uh, created logic. So when it is a uh, buy order, we want to trail the stop loss up. And if it's a sell order, we want to trail the stop loss down. And um, so in this configuration, I've set max this to five, trail amount to two. Uh, basically you want to make sure that the max distance stop loss is greater than your trail amount. Otherwise, if they're the same amount, your stop loss will update on the current price. So you should remember that. Also, I've added one piece of logic. That is when a position has no stop loss. So in such a case, I will just add a so-called default stop loss. So the position can start trailing with that default stop loss. So we are almost done with our code. In our name equals main block, we just put in our function update stop loss and I've renamed this function to trail stop loss. So trail stop loss, I initially wanted to add some parameters, but then I decided to leave these uh, variables global. So here uh, in our name equals main block, we add start ring stop loss, the position ticket, and inside a loop, which will update every second, we are checking if a position should have the stop loss updated. So let me show you how to use this code for trading. On the right side, I have the IC Markets Matrix 5 platform, and on the left side, I have the configurations of my strategy. So uh, if you scroll down, here's the function trail stop loss, and down here we have the name equals main block with the loop running. And what you want to do is uh, you want to open a position in Matrix 5. Let's say that we want to sell on EURUSD. And now we want to apply the stop loss on this symbol. So to do that, you simply copy the ticket number from your open position here, which is 
5, 6, 6, 3, 1. And here we have the configuration such as max stop loss, trail amount, and default stop loss. So uh, the current price should never be far away from our stop loss in 6 pips. If it exceeds this max stop loss, we should trail the stop loss by 3 pips. And if the position is no stop loss, we should apply or set a stop loss of 3 pips below the buying price. So if I run this, we should now see a stop loss appear in my position. So we run trailing stop loss. And now we see that we've updated stop loss on the sell order. And let's see if this order goes down. And if it goes down, then this stop loss should follow the profit. Fast forward it. We see that the position is going down. We're still waiting for our max this to hit. Unfortunately, price went back up. But let's see how the trade develops further. We see that we're now consolidating. So there's still a good chance that price might go down. And eventually, price does go down, which should happen any second now. And here we see a breakout and our stop loss was then updated to break even. Unfortunately, this position did not go any further and hit our position at break even. But we can see that our code is working and that we can now happily trail our positions with Python. This is it for this video. Please check the description to find the link to the code and also a playlist to other Python videos. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I will be back very soon. Thank you for watching.